Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you one of my passions and that's restoring 35mm motion picture projections from way back in the day, like 1917 to 1920. This particular model is called the Zenith and it was an early 35mm portable projector. What would happen was an itinerant filmmaker would come to your town and shoot a little background color in the dignitaries and then on a Friday or Saturday night set up in a union hall, he would develop his own film in the field and then he would show it up on the wall or something like that. And if electricity wasn't available, he had the option of using acetylene gas, which would feed into here and he would have a tank with him that would light and you would light it and then, you know, you would have a light source. So, whoops, here's the inside. This is the feed reel, of course this is the take up reel. Now if he didn't have any electricity and he just relied on acetylene gas as the light source, he would have to hand crank the projector. So you would put, put the handle on and just like his camera back in the day, he would have to whistle a tune and crank the projector to about 16 frames variable right, right around that, that frame rate. About 16 frames. Bleh. Sorry, I'm not that great in front of the camera. In any case, I restored this. I got it in a, in a case and it was in really bad shape. And I just took it completely apart, re-lubricated everything, and then I did my own uh, hammer paint job on it. Now, what's interesting about this projector is called the safety projector because back in the day, film was very, very flammable because it was a nitrate based and it would go up in flames because of sometimes the open flame light source. And so here on the feed side is a trap and down here on the take up side is a trap. And what that would do was if fire started here, it wouldn't migrate up into this roll of film or this roll of film. On this particular projector, because of its age, the shutter, instead of being behind the lens, is in front of the lens, which is, you know, old school for sure. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up for you and uh, see if we can uh, get her to move. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, the little electric motor and then I'll turn on the light source. And as you can see, let me put my hand here, you can see the light, and that's where the image would go up to the screen. Now on the back side of the projector, I had to make my own belts, leather belts, and I'll post a picture of that. And I'll also post a picture of what it looked like before I restored it. Anyway, that's it. A very simple machine, but it must have been really amazing to rural people back in the day. Y'all take care. Peace.